is to visit the shrine in Japan with the funniest slash longest slash name I can think of. some snow right there in it good morning ladies and gentlemen we're now leaving the hostel Mount Fuji behind us to head on an adventure for the day we're here in Fuji Yoshida in Japan on the base of Mount Fuji we're heading off to go find a shrine with a crazy name and I'm gonna tell you that name when we get closer to it but right now we have a 42 minute walk through the town I'm here with my boys Vidal I'm here with my boys Moshe let's hit it look how dedicated your content creator is to making content for you. I'm stepping in the cold snow and getting my feet wet just so I could film this sign for you guys. Say thank you. Guys, this is the Mount Fuji Yoshida Trail. We're not taking that because we're lazy boys, cold boys, just not prepared to climb Japan's tallest mountain. What we are prepared for is to visit the shrine in Japan with the funniest slash longest slash name I can think of. I'm gonna get my handy dandy phone and I'm gonna read you guys the name. We're here, the entrance, the Tori gates are right behind us, so we're about to enter the shrine. It is Kitaguchi Hangu Fuji Senjen Shrine. Kitaguchi Hongu Fuji Senjen Shrine. Kitaguchi Hongu Fuji Senjen Shrine. Senjen Shrine. Senjen Shrine. Guys, this shrine is incredible. Wow, this is hands down the biggest one we've been to so far. Guys, check out the cleansing station here. Remember we talked about this when we made the Buddhist temple and Shinto shrine differences? This one is the mouth of a dragon. Look at the architecture here, this is amazing. It's like made out of jade or something. I think partly what makes this so amazing is that we're like the only ones here right now. All right guys, so we were reading a little bit about the history of this place and I want you for just one second to listen to the sounds, take all of this in. I know you guys are sitting from a computer screen or a phone screen right now and you're watching this, but this place is truly, truly amazing. We've been reading up on the history a little bit of this shrine, and actually there's multiple shrines in here, and we're going to read you guys a little bit of the history of why this shrine is so incredible and why it's so significant within this Fuji region. The name of the shrine is actually Kitaguchi Hangu Fuji Senjen Jinja Shrine. The history of this shrine is actually really, really rooted in the Mount Fuji region, and it's a super important site. It actually dates back to 1,900 years ago. It was used as a pilgrimage site for people who actually believe in the Mount Fuji God. Mount Fuji in Shintoism is actually a deity of its own. It's called Fuji-san or like Mr. Fuji. Um, it's, it's regarded to as kind of a deity or a human-like figure. And so this place was built and used as kind of a forefront to people making the pilgrimage to the top of Mount Fuji. The shrine itself was constructed due to an ancient Japanese emperor who traveled out here. When he came here, he worshiped the Mount Fuji spirit and a small shrine was constructed. And then years after years, it was built upon and built upon until we got this, this incredible, incredible shrine complex. And if you actually see behind me, the practice of tying a ribbon or rope around the tree is called Yorishiro. It's actually a Shintoist practice of trying to attract the gods or the deities. This is another look at something that happens in Shinto shrines. These are actually notes that people write down and they tie them to a piece of rope.
All right, guys, we're just passing under the Tory Gate right now. We're exiting the shrine. We're gonna head off to explore some more of this area around Fuji. Guys, check this out. We we're just walking out of the uh, Fuji area and we've come across our first, I think this is the first real blossoming sakura tree that we've seen. Sakura is the cherry blossom tree. And uh, the cherry blossom season should be beginning in a week from now. And we're finally getting them. Look, there's even some bees pollinating a little bit, drinking some of the nectar. All right guys, so we've been chilling back at the hostel for a few hours now, and we're gonna head off right now to go watch a taiko drum session. Traditional Japanese drum session. It's gonna be very cool. All right guys, so this is the drumming group. We're gonna show them. They're gonna do a little practice performance for us right now. I wanna show this off. These are Japanese traditional drums. And it's very cool, very exciting. You boys excited to see this? Oh yeah. Here we go. So guys, we're setting up all the taiko drums right now. And uh, the reason we're here is because the host of the hostel that uh, we're staying at, she actually is part of this drum group. She doesn't want to be on cameras, so I'm not going to tell you who she is, but she invited us out here to be able to film and show you guys this. It's going to be a very, very cool performance, I think, to see all of this. Well, that was just a warm-up, uh, just the beginning of this. That was insanity. <laughs> or now we're gonna begin the full show. So now they're about to play a song that was written for the tsunami uh, that hit Japan a few years back. And this is a song created by them. drumsticks right now. The teacher of this course is going to teach us how to play the drums. I knew I was bad at rhythm stuff and rhythm games, but wow, I'm so bad. I could hear myself throwing off the entire group. And Frank was killing it. He was so in focus the entire so 
Yeah. Now they're going to put on the traditional uniforms and I think play like one last shebanger. Alright guys, so we've bounced to the next day. This is a uh, sunset right now on top of the uh, roof right by the hostel. Hostel's right over there. That's the roof. I got the drone up in the air right now filming Fuji. And uh, we're gonna end this vlog here. This is Frank and Vidal's last adventure with us before they head on off to Miami. So we're heading off to Miami back tomorrow. And that's it guys, we're gonna end this video. Make sure that you check out the travelingcloud.com if you wanna get some merchandise, you can buy yourself a little hoodie like Diaz. Get yourself one of those. You can uh, subscribe, turn on those notifications if you're new here. Let's get them a Japanese word of the day. Your Japanese word of the day today is gonna be Yama which means mountain. Because you got the beautiful Mount Fuji, all is mountain in Japan right there. I love you long time class, a uh, goodbye. <laughs>